What's going on guys, this is 9 Lego Maniac and today I have a Cousin Minion Figure Showcase video and this is the Captain America the Winter Soldier, Captain America the Golden Age version. So here we have the Golden Age Captain America and we saw him wear the suit in the, the last part of Captain America the Winter Soldier which is one of my top, top favorite um, movies of 2014. And you can see it looks exactly accurate as it was in the film. So, so yeah, this is actually one of my favorite um, custom minifigures of 2014. Uh, it's one of my top five. Um, and uh, one of my five favorite minifigures has to be the Flash, Quicksilver, Captain America, Falcon, and uh, and Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, I think it was him. I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> So yeah, he's one of my top five favorites, and I'm really glad how the way he turned out. I try and make him as accurate as I can, and yeah. So I didn't use a flash helmet to make his head. It would have been a good idea, but then the problem thing is that I have to do the same thing with my stealth strike Captain America, and as goes with the Avengers Captain America. Oh yeah, he does now. The Avengers Captain America doesn't have a shield because um, the this guy's borrowing it for a while, and so you can see that it's the same battle damage shield that I painted. Um, so yeah, he's going to borrow it for now, but since now we're going to get an Age of Ultron set, we're going to get two Captain Americas, that means we get two shields. So I'm going to take that shield and just give it and give it to this guy and make it a different battle damage version. And I'll make the other one a clean version. So yeah, I can't wait for these Age of Ultron sets, man. Oh, and by the way, have you guys seen the, tra have you guys seen the, the, the second trailer? Because if you haven't, go see it right now. It is so awesome. It, it's um, it's good. Just watch it because it's Age of Ultron. Why not? So without further ado, let's just get on with this minifigure. Here you have one of my favorite Marvel superheroes, and that is Captain America. And you can see this is a Golden Age suit. Everything's completely painted by me. And I just grabbed a random blue torso, random blue legs, um, and just completely painted it. And these arms are actually white, but I just have painted the details, the blue the blue and the dark blue, brown. And I grabbed some brown hands. And like all, like all my um, other kept my uh, Stealth Strikes, Sue, Captain America, Mystique, and Yondu, um, underneath is just a, it's just a random yellow head. And I just painted on top of it. And, and it looks super awesome because it looks exactly like Captain America. Now, this... Um, for the reference picture, it was kind of hard to find the right reference picture to find all the detailing, right? So, with all the wrinkles and all. So, what I did, I just googled Hot Toys Captain America Golden Age suit. And this is what I found. And and this mouth is inspired by uh, the Hot Toys figures. when They have um, Captain America opening his mouth slightly. But it, was, it may not look exactly like how it looks like um, on the figure itself. But it looks... But it really does capture the appearance of Captain America when he was like running around uh, fighting Hydra and then ult ultimately fight his friend. So yeah, I actually thought I did a good, great job of capturing the face. Um, maybe Chris Evans kind of, but you know, um, it can be. It looks like he can be anybody. So starting with the head, you can see all all these the lines. You can see the the wings. It's painted gunmetal silver, and and um, I use. And this was the last mini figure I ever used, just using normal, normal black paint. And and um, and this has you can see that in uh, some parts, some parts of the torso, some black aren't really um look like it's like shiny or anything. But on his head, you can see some um, black. It looks a little bit glossy because that's when I use the gloss acrylic. So yeah, I, like I said before, I could have used a flash helmet for this guy, but I just decided not to. Besides, he looks great anyway. If I give him a flash um, helmet, for it, um, then it wouldn't really look as symmetrical as my other custom minifigures I painted. And yeah, so this, oh yeah, and I'm gonna fix this guy a little bit on the legs now that I have the gloss acrylic paint. I could easily get the leg detailing done, so I, I'm I'm probably gonna fix this guy. But that's not gonna be until much later. And, and the belt detail, I try and make sure as best as I could. This was it was very tedious work to make sure to get all the face right, to make sure everything's proportioned, make sure if the both sides of his head look symmetrical. Now it probably doesn't look that symmetrical, but I but I made it close enough. And so see also the face, it's really hard to paint flesh now that now that I actually have new paint um, for for 
the color flesh it actually actually looks really good and actually almost matches the, the same skin tone that Lego uses so yeah that's that's pretty cool and yeah and the, the, the A is also painted in gunmetal silver I tried the eyes were really hard to get right especially in to make a mask like this I mean I had a very tough time painting this and this this was like the first first time I actually painted the Captain America head and so doing so in another figure it is not as easy as you think and it's super difficult and you can see in both his arms he has a, the, the white star same thing on the other one and this lo this looks exactly like a Captain America Golden Age suit now, and I was I'm kind of debating whether if I should make a first Avenger Captain America because you know the first Avenger Captain America does have some similarities, so um, but some differences mostly the, like the stripes, some like the belt buckles on the the arms, some on the legs. So yeah, maybe I can make a, a first Avenger Captain America, but probably not because why why would I? And that means I have to buy more shields, and I and that means I have to struggle all my time getting the face too. It's gonna be super annoying. And for the and I've went over the this shield before in uh, my Avengers showcase. It's really not that hard to make, and it, it does look super realistic, like like the way the like the way the gun metal like um, painted all around the the all these like wear and tear. It's really not that hard to do. I can I can show you a tutorial on how to make Captain America shield look realistic. I could do that if you guys want, but let me know in the comments below. And look, turn looking on the back. The back is really simple, but it's really effective. Very I and um, it's really hard to get all these lines right. It's really hard. And yeah, and for the legs, the legs are also self, pretty self-explanatory. And it's just like lines and all. It's just lines, and you can see all these like dots I can give on the boots. So yeah, that's basically it on Captain America. Now I think I talked a little bit too much, and yeah, and so yeah, that's basically it on Captain America so far. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Oh yeah, and I I recently got green stuff, and um, I'm working on this guy. We he looks super cool. And after that, I need to find some. Uh, like lime green orange for Gamora and everything and the Guardians of the Galaxy will be complete and I'll make a showcase for that probably next month so yep that's basically it and let's just conclude this alright guys so that's basically it so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I have the I have the other Winter Soldier minifigures like the Winter Soldier himself Alexander Peters and Falcon which I just who I just knocked over and so yep and I'm, yeah I'm gonna make more Captain America the Winter Soldier figures probably like Maybe Black Widow, but not in her Black Widow suit because it looks almost identical as the Avengers one. So what's the whole point? Um, I'll I'll make Armzola in a computer version. Uh, Batroc, because why not? He he was actually a pretty good, pretty cool um, minor character, Agent Thirteen, Crossbones, probably those guys, but not until much later because um they're not the main important figures in um my my to-do list so yeah so that's basically it i hope you guys enjoy this video so stay tuned for more and i'm out